Good morning to all of you. <coughs> Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. In this video, we are going to discuss a case of forum shopping, which I told you in CPC at the time of jurisdiction. It is otherwise called as bench hunting. In the case of Ammalal Parihar, Ammalal Parihar versus State of Rajasthan and others in Civil Appeal Number 3233 by 2023 on 16th October 2023, Honorable Judges, two judges bench, Abhay S. Vokha and Pankaj Mittal. Abhay S. Vokha and Pankaj Mittal. They have clearly deprecated, expressed displeasure over the practice of bench hunting or former shopping. What is this forum shopping? Please remember I told you in the Oswal Woolen Mills case limited. They want you to file a case at Calcutta but their branch is not there. But they have chosen the forum. I told you that case now. Oh, I am going to high court lawyers. I am going to judge the judge. 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 I am going to judge the so this case is a classic example of forum, forum shopping. Now coming to the facts of the case. Mr. Parihar, Ambalal Parihar, he has filed or he has given FIRs, six FIRs against uh, A12, A4, A1, A2, A4. Two others gave complaint against A1, A2, A3 and A4. In total, eight cases were registered against the uh, so called uh, accuser persons in a particular case. Right? So the accuser persons they have approached the Honorable High Court of Rajasthan for getting them quashed under Section 482 to CRPC. Quite common. Yes, you can approach the High Court because uh, so many cases are filed against means it shows the vindictiveness of the other party. Normally, the cases will be given the so-called penalty under 482 that is quashment if there is error apparent on the face of record. But the single judge who found the FIRs, he was under the impression that there was some material therefore he did not get, he did not give the quashment orders. Now what to do? The only thing is they have to face the trial. But see here what they have done is they have filed a civil writ petition under Article 226, civil writ petition under Article 26 before they known judge and got favorable orders. The justice on seeing the eight FIRs, of course, they have filed a writ of mandamus. Under Article 226, they filed a writ of randomness. So, having been satisfied that this person is unnecessarily being involved in so many cases, that justice, he has ordered clubbing of the FIRs. He has ordered clubbing of the FIRs, all eight FIRs, and also ordered that no coercive action should be taken against the accused persons, therefore, in number. Already told you, year one to year four. This is the favorable order. So, no coercive action. That is what they wanted. Of course, almost uh, the court has given stay orders. But now the appellant has approached the Supreme Court stating as to how a civil writ petition is maintainable in a criminal case. This is the main problem. No doubt, you cannot dispute a person filing a case uh, under Article 226 because his rights are violated. But it is a criminal case. So this writ petition should be a criminal writ petition. If it is a criminal writ petition, the Chief Justice will assign these writ petitions to another bench. But they wanted 
the cases to be brought before the particular judge. Therefore, they filed the civil writ and they got the favorable orders. Now the matter has come before the Honorable Supreme Court of India. Honorable Supreme Court of India highly deprecated the practice of uh, the so-called forum shopping and uh, imposed a fine of 50,000 uh, to be paid to Rajasthan State Legal Service Authority and also advised uh, the uh, judicial officers. Actually, they said, uh, please remember, the judge should refrain from taking up cases not specifically assigned to him by the Chief Justice. What happens if not the roster notified by the Chief Justice will have no meaning, is it not? So here the important point is, number one, forum shopping. Second point, they have approached a civil, they have filed a civil petition instead of criminal petition to get the favorable orders. This is a classic example of forum shopping. So CPC students, you better understand the principles and uh, you can add this case uh, in the next year course. Okay, with this I am concluding. Thank you very much.